Alrighty, so we have a quick Halloween haunt update in July. Yes, it's early, it's July, but we're discussing Halloween haunt. Well, let's get it right off to a start. So, not much is going on. In fact, a decline in what's going on is occurring. So, as you can see, you have Graveyard, which is at the front entrance. That's going to be a scare zone. That seems pretty unique um, and a slight change. It's probably just going to be a, a quick theme to match like that Graveyard theme at the front. You have Code Red returning from last year. Um, and I predict it's going to have a military theme with biohazard buckets and all that. Then you have the Plague Scare Zone over in Medieval Fair, and that is returning as well. And if you look, um, Courtyard is not going to house anything Halloween Haunt related, and that probably has something to do with Timber Kits. Uh, they probably don't want to ruin those gorgeous buildings by hanging any um, decorations off of it. Sci-Fi House is returning to that area, but it was heavily damaged in winter, so we don't know if the house is going to be in the arcade, or the VR room, or if they're just going to repair the building. Carnival uh, Scare Zone is going to be in the kind of mountain area. That's returning as well. So far, everything's returning, and we only have about two or three mazes removed. Sad face, I don't know what's going on. I'll talk about it at the end though. Uh, you have the ruins returning, and that's a really impressive maze. Um, and uh, I actually love the ruins, the Blackout and Spirit Manor. Those are my three favorites. Um, Forest of Fear had a lot of potential, but it let me down last year. Then you have Blackout. Blackout's really cool, such a great concept. Um, I really loved it last year, actually. That's new as of last year. It's returning as well. Um, the only thing is this haunt maze gets really long lineups, um, so be prepared. Buy those fast lanes. Trick or Treat is returning as well. It's a really neat concept. You have doorbells you can ring um, throughout the day, which actually have like effects. So that's really cool. There's a lot of interaction with the guests even during the day and the kids. They love it. Uh, super cool. And uh, Spirit Manor, this is my all-time favorite haunted attraction at Halloween Haunt. I love it. It is just shy of universal quality. All they need is those effects the actors hold that press a button that add that extra scare with the sound effect. That's all this haunt is amazing for it to uh, missing for it to be amazing. You have Cornstalkers returning. Cornstalkers returning since the beginning of time. This one needs an upgrade. It desperately needs an upgrade, but oh well, it still is. And a lot of you are going to hate this. It still is high up on my list of favorite haunts. I just love the setting. Um, Bloody Buccaneers is returning again. It is a scare zone set um, in the uh, Cyclone Sledgehammer area. It's got really nice theming and effects as well. I'm pretty, I was pretty impressed last year with that, with the ships. Um, Ghostly Pines is returning again. This one's a really cool uh, scare zone. It has like really awesome masks and... Uh, outfits as well like they put a lot of money into that scare zone so i'd like to see that return as well for that scare zone and then this is an interesting one because from what i'm hearing this received a lot of work in the off season and throughout the summer now forest of fear has a lot of additional effects and um, theming added to it this year so i'd like to see what this turns out looking like as you saw in my video yesterday they're building it already in the kingswood theater um, and then for scare zones, as you can see, you have Bloody Buccaneers, Carnival, Ghostly Pines, The Graveyard, The Plague, and Trick or Treat. Not anything new happening really, nothing exciting, unfortunately, and I have a feeling this has to do with 2019 and Winterfest and just um, the new Timber Kits buildings. There's not much they can do. It's not like they can throw money out of nowhere and build all these new haunts. You'll probably see that in 2020, 2021. But for haunt mazes, you have Blackout, Code Red, Cornstalkers, Forest of Fear, Sci-Fi House, Spirit Manor, and The Ruins. We went from 10 or 9 mazes, correct me down below if I'm wrong, it's 9 or 10 mazes last season to 7. It's a pretty big deal for a park that maxes out capacity each season on Halloween Haunt. And I am not looking forward to the lines. I'm not looking forward to the crowds. And I'm curious as to how they're gonna make this work with less houses. There's gonna be a lot more guests trying to get into these seven houses um, than last year trying to get into nine or 10 houses. So I'm very intrigued to how this is gonna work. Um, I'm excited to see if there's any upgrades, but again, this probably has something to do with the 2019 coaster, the Timber Kits buildings, not wanting to ruin them. And we'll probably see us go back up to nine or 10 mazes in 2019 and 2020 and 2021. Who knows? Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There's going to be lots of Halloween Haunt updates. So give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. And catch you at the park. Have a good one, guys. Bye.